Warning! The warning on this highly educational video has been removed. If you're here to review this video after it's been flagged, make sure you watch the whole video to work out exactly what this video is about. Okay, it is early in the morning. It's about an hour before sunrise. Sometimes you got to come out early to catch a We'll be looking at some in this video and some very curious urban design. Oh yes, I did a study of um, some redback spiders that live in this part of my suburb. There's a spider that lives just there. Little tiny one, okay, and a little bit further along. We've got one which I called Mrs. Drain Spider. Mrs. Drain Spider is still there, uh, residing in a beautiful, beautiful drain. But the redbacks that were a little bit hard to see was the ones that I call the Pizza Shop Spiders. Okay, now I've got my torch here today and maybe I'll take a bit of a squizzy around here. And along the building here, I can see uh, tons and tons of web and things in the of typical redback spider home. And right there is the leaves and stuff they like to set up as their home, and also a redback spider. Mrs. Redback Spider, and maybe some others around her as well. There's quite a stunning web here, and if I traverse up it's nice and slowly and be fast because they're a bit aware of light, uh, there's another Mrs. Redback Spider. If I go down slowly here and pass the metal bands and everything that we saw in the other video, Hopefully we'll see Mrs. Redback Spider in all her glory. Okay, there she is. She's right in the middle of screen, looking stunning. She started to scamper away because, well, she doesn't like the big light, but believe me, she's there. So, okay, we've established there is a very good family of Redback Spiders living in this area, but uh, it had me looking around at the cause of this because, well, put it this way, this infestation is relatively new. I've walked past this area for many, many years. I've never seen the redback spiders as bad as they are here now. I asked myself, you know, what has changed here? And then it dawned on me, no pun intended. What is different in the suburb here? What is different around the local pizza shop? And what we are looking at right in the middle of the screen is something relatively new. It's only been here for a year. And I believe this here is the cause and effect of the spider infestation. The local children love to uh, stick a slap this thing. It's actually like a bin, okay? So you can put your rubbish in there. It's made of metal. It's a curious design and maybe we'll just traverse to my Google Maps chat about what used to be here before this bin was here. Okay, welcome to my suburb as seen through Google Maps. A strange suburb because there is a hidden shopping center in the middle of the suburb. And I'd say these pictures are from, let's say two years prior to me making this video. But most importantly, what we're looking for here is where is that metal bin which is in front of the pizza shop? I can't see it, but what I can see, and I know it's still there, is the older style of bin that the council used to put in the suburbs. And we will take a look at this other bin in this video. So Google Maps has let us see back in time a little bit, but there is another mapping service called Near Maps that would really pinpoint exactly when this bin was put in place. But sadly, I can't afford their miraculous mapping service. It's got a bit of a thing there from the people who make this style of uh, receptacle in the urban environment. And if I go down here, I can see that it's got a key area, so you can open up this side and get the bin out. But what I also see if I traverse down further, and boy oh boy, this thing becomes the apocalypse. I see tons and tons and tons of redback spider activity. Okay, look very carefully there. Right in the middle of the screen is a very small female redback spider. She's on the move. This is now the street side and this is a total spider apocalypse here. And if I look carefully, you'll see the spider looking very carefully right in the middle of the screen. You can see her just moving there. She's a bit skittish now. Okay, she's come out a bit of a hole there. She's not a young one. She's a little bit older and I dare say she is a breeder. Yeah, with this uh, red back here, I can almost tell the maturity by the sort of web network that they make. It's very extensive. It goes right up on the side of the bin here. They put diagonal like triangular uh, webs everywhere. They're very distinctive in the way they set up. The leaves and, and lawn cuttings will get caught in this web. And also they'll put webs coming right out to the edge of the gutter here. And there'll be a, that you can't really see it, but there's a whole section of webs that come down to a point down here somewhere. And the way it works, it's quite effective and very, very simple. Is anything that traverses along here, any little bug or critter, We'll snare in to one of those lines like my finger is at the moment, but the spider's quite smart. It knows a bug versus human hands, I hope. And it will send a signal up to the spider, which is living up there, and a the spider will dart out uh, very fast, usually, 
and take out what's caught in the web. And if you look carefully along there, sometimes you'll see the things that they've eaten. They'll discard them at the bottom. They'll just be the carcass of what's left after they've been sucked to nothing. And maybe if you look very carefully, I know my audience will see it, there'll be other spiders there, other redbacks, be it male or small female, some web passing by there. And I think there, yes, I can see another spider there. It's very small. It could be a small, immature female. I said to the people in the pizza shop, but while this bin is here, you'll be fighting a losing battle and a battle that will go on for years and years and years because this bin is the perfect redback spider home. And even if I look at the top here, and if I traverse in there, I can see there is redback spider web right at the top. Yes, you'll have to trust me on that one. That is also redback spider web. Well, it's starting to get lighter here now. People are starting to go to work. The spiders are starting to recluse because they are nighttime spiders. That's why I came out early in the morning to see them. I am totally astonished by this uh, piece of design. Uh, that's what it's designed for. Yes, people put their rubbish in it, but I tell you what, it is the perfect spider home. And if I look on the street side here now, every flank of this bin that I look at, it is a spider apocalypse and uh, well, they just love it here. It's their perfect home. Well, maybe I need to explain, especially the Hornsby Council, why is this the perfect spider environment? Well, it's pretty simple. It's made of metal. Okay, it gets nice and warm in the sun. As you can see, it's got all of these little holes in it. It looks sort of semi-pretty, doesn't it? But hey, the spiders think it's pretty as well. And the way that it stood up off the ground here, it just makes for the absolute perfect spider environment, in particular, the redback spider. You know it's funny, but it's sort of not funny. Uh, if I was going to design uh, something to breed up redback spiders and keep them as pets, and have lots and lots of these spiders and make them very homely, you know what I'd make? Well, you're looking at it right on screen there. The more I look at this and the way it's set up and the way it, it attracts spiders, I'm almost thinking it is the perfect redback spider home. And if you're the person that comes along and empties the bin, and this is the side you'd work from here, if you open that door there and you pull out the bin inside, Boy, oh boy, you better be wearing gloves because I can guarantee to you there's a very high probability you're going to have a nasty spider uh, waiting for you. Very, very strange, curious design. Wow, I wonder if I'll be able to get these bins removed from the suburb from what I've discovered of what goes on down there. And it ain't pretty. It has been quite a productive morning. It's getting lighter and lighter and lots of people have stopped by all the early morning joggers and runners and I said, Leo, what are you up to? And I said, look, I'm doing a study about the bin there and the redback spiders. In fact, off in the distance there, I can see another one of those bins, but what I want to show you, and I may have showed you this in the Google Maps section, is the old style of bin is still here. And this is the style of bin that is perfectly fine for the part of town where I live. And just looking around the bottom of this bin here, there's, is there something that you notice, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? And if I come in really, really close here, along the bottom of this concrete bin, you know what? I can't see. I'm hoping the Hornsby Council can see this as well. I can't see any red back spiders. Well, I could say a few things about this solar bin. The main thing I could say is it has stood the test of time, but maybe the most appropriate thing to say is sometimes the simplest things are often the best. Maybe another way to think about this bin in relation to spiders and the way that they mature and things. What I'm seeing around this bin and the type of web and the spider that I saw, I call that the mother infestation there. So the bin's the mother and in a sense, uh, what was going on in the shop behind there was the daughter. I dare say the daughter is directly related to the mother. Council installed hazard number one. Over there, council installed hazard number two. I might get a chance to sneak a look inside the bin area there, yeah. Okay, this is the middle of winter and the red backs will be reclusing. Uh, first time I've seen it here, no way am I gonna poke my fingers in there. There's red back web there. Okay, this is the other side here. Yep, uh, web extending right up the side. And I would say, that area up there, uh, very red back here, I can see web as well. It's all through here. Just this zone here, uh, that's your classic sort of cluster of stuff that is like the red back uh, nest area. Very classic, you see that a lot. That's what it looks like. And in fact, <laughs> um, lo and behold, eh? Very hard to see against the dark metal there. 
Proof of the pudding, there's a red back spider. Winter Wonderland shut down. Nice little dump truck, isn't it? That's the smaller dump truck that does these styles of bins. And the man who manages this bin, he knows about the problem because the uh, the shop that was affected by the Redbacks actually contacted, have contacted the people who look after these bins. And now whether the council is going to do anything about this, well, that's the big question in all this, isn't it? But that is the perfect Redback Spider home. And I should also add that the people who own this shop here, which had the Redback Spider infestation, they are extremely thankful to me because what I pointed out to them uh, really opened up their eyes and it had us querying, wow, what's caused this? Because, well, we've never seen anything like it here before. Yes, it's just amazing how one little change in the suburb can cause a catastrophe. This video was shot in two different times during 2018. The first part was April, that's the end of the spider season when the spiders are still active. And then when the bin man turned up, that was July. And that's when the spiders are reclusing in Winter Wonderland. The very simple way to solve this problem, that is if you see it as a problem, and I do believe the pizza shop owners see this bin as a problem, is remove the bin because that bin is nothing but a major spider nest. There may be places where this bin would work really well, right in the middle of a city, but unfortunately where I live, it's surrounded by bush. The redback spiders would prefer to live in the suburb versus the bush, and these spiders are really, really good at adapting to non-natural environments. The fact that the bin got so badly spider infested in what was a very short time is proof of that. Because I studied these spiders via my many redback spider videos on my YouTube channel, I know what these spiders like and I know what they don't like and I could come in and make this bin a very uncomfortable spider zone. My method to control the spiders would be fairly simple, it would be inexpensive and it would last over a number of spider seasons. But it's not my job to come in and fix up what is essentially the local council's big problem. As I'm finishing off this video, the next spider season in Australia is about to hit. I'm going to keep a very keen eye on this bin and also the spider activity that will build up around the pizza shop again. But who knows, strange things can happen. I might go for my morning walk one morning and the bin may just disappear. Someone in council might whisper to another councillor, Psst, did you see that video about our metal bins which have become spider nests? We better get rid of them. But I think the chances of this bin disappearing fast are going to be next to zero. But don't you worry, I'll keep you updated and what goes on around this spider infested bin.